What's up, PV Poppers? Jordy Pop, 83 here today. And we are still in Venice today, and we are taking off today. We are going to go north again. And um, I think we're just going to drive two hours and stop, whatever that is. So I think that might be somewhere like Pismo Beach. Uh, we're going to try to find somewhere, obviously, somewhere nice to stop. Um, and then after that, we're going to head to San Francisco. Uh, yeah, so yesterday... <clears throat> Yesterday we have five sets. Or we have uh, five matches here today, and uh, the first match of the set, I um, I was playing with a uh, little spicy team, right? And I had a loss. And I decided, all right, we got to get back to the uh, the bread and butter biscuits, right? So we went back to the uh, the jump fluff lead, Azu and Galarian Stunfisk team, and uh, you're gonna see here why it's super important to to use the same team over and over and over again because it allows you to get out of sticky situations. And in this team here, I actually have Jumpluff as the lead, right? And then the two Pokemon in the back are two Pokemon that um, that counter Jumpluff's major uh, weaknesses in different ways, right? So you have um, <clears throat> what we're afraid of um, is... Uh, What's it called? Fuck, hold on. Right, 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 right. So we're afraid of fires and steel, right? We're afraid of, of birds and we're afraid of, you know, rock throwers and steel. Things that are going to be anti-flyer. So, um, so what, what Azu has for flyers is ice beam and for steel is hydro pump, right? And then we have uh, rock slide for flyers and earthquake for, um, for the steels, right? So, but they all, they, both of those things also do different, do them differently. So it's just, it's interesting how when you have a, what I like to use is, you know, something like a, um, geez, Max, you're so crazy. Um, with something like a, uh, a scissors, scissors, what the fuck? Scissors, paper, paper, a rock, scissors, scissors team, you know, something like, a rock being like the jump fluff, right? And then you want two things that will beat the thing that beats it. So since paper beats rock, you want two scissors, right? That's basically it. So you're gonna see in, in these matches now, the uh, the strategy implemented here. So let's get in to the matches. All right, so no joke, this is like the third time I'm recording this. I, I, I couldn't figure out what I needed to say about this that's about this battle it's all about shield management that's how i lose this battle so we do pretty good here so so yeah we're, i mean we're doing great this whole battle is awesome there's literally a misplaced shield so we're gonna find that misplaced shield um because <laughs> skarmory matchup doing great right so we're gonna have a cresselia come in and we're gonna have to take a take another gander at this here. All right, so we're gonna be throwing off these rock slides. Rock slides gonna be doing neutral damage to the steel uh, flyer here. Uh, being a steel flyer, man, it really does take off so much of its um, its weaknesses, right? Uh, no longer weak to rock, right? Because uh, rock is uh, not very effective against steel. In comes. <laughs> Oh, I'm not able to get off that rock. That's what it was. That was the difference. I couldn't get that move off. It wouldn't let me click that move. All right, so we got into jump up. Then he switched into uh, Cresselia. And we were able to switch into... Um, into... Uh, what's his face here? Yeah, it didn't get. let me get off that, that rock slide. All right. So then... Yep. So we did, I think we did right. I think we did it. I think we played this perfectly. It just didn't let us get off, get that rock slide off. <laughs> let me flip the camera up. Get my old. Get him, Max, get him. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, sometimes the game just doesn't let you do what you want to do. But uh, I think we played well. We over farm here. So that we have just enough because we knew that we were going to have to have an energy ball ready for um, 
ready for what's it called, right? Ready for Azu. So we have that, that red energy ball just rearing, ready to go. It's actually pretty good. I did pretty good on this game. And then he has a, uh, so maybe we should have let go of, uh, I don't know, tell me in the comments how I could have made that game better. It's a, uh, that was a close one. That was definitely a close one. All right, next game. We switched it up. We went back to Azu, or um, uh, Jump Club, Azu, and um, Valerian Sunfisk. And now we are actually have a good lead here with, uh, with Vigoroth versus Jump Club. Now the cool thing is, is that we are taking not very effective damage from his, uh, his counters here, right? But those body slams smack so hard. And our aerial aces are, um, are neutral as well. So it's kind of like a wash, right? Because our aerial ace is a 1.22 damage per energy. And the, um, the body slam is actually something more like 1.77. So that's a huge difference. That's a lot of a difference. Um, it's actually kind of making up for the fact that it was not very effective. Nice switch there. Able to take that uh, aerial ace on the Skarmory. Damn, that ocean is so loud right now. And then we got Azu into it. And then we did switch to the play rough and, um, and, and hydro pump variety. And I think, I think I'm gonna leave it here because uh, we have definitely been in more situations now with play rough that have been beneficial than it have not. Uh, I've been in one or two situations where I used my Azu in like in the wrong role uh, because if you use it as a uh, as a stay switch, you're gonna want to have Ice Beam on there to take care of the grasses that might counter switch into you. But if you're gonna use it as a lead or as a as a in the back, you want Play Rough to take care of the Azu, and uh, you know, and you can still take care of the dragons. He's cool. You can still take care of the dragons. You can still take care of the fighters, right? So it's actually pretty, it's good, nice. Um, all right, so now we got our uh, Valerian Sunfist into the Skarmory again. Yeah, man, we got this guy into, into the Skarmory a lot. Skarmory is everywhere. So, uh, man, I was thinking about it, you guys. I think Fire would have a really nice, I think I might try to bring in a, a, a Charizard. I think Fire would have a really nice time in the meta right now. You have a lot of grass, you got a lot of steel. Uh, you got some fairies that you can resist, right? I mean, it could be good. All right, well, we won that one. Next battle. All right, so we lost the lead here, right? This, this, this episode is all about losing the lead and coming back. So we lose the lead. And we go into the softer counter of Skarmory, right? We want we want Galarian Stunfisk on Skarmory later, but Azu is going to be able to beat Skarmory. So we want them to switch out, right? To be afraid of Azu, switch out, bring something else in, so that later we can we can line everything else up. That's the whole idea of this strategy here. So. Now we have Azu on Azu. We got our play rough ready to go. We're good, we're good. Um, and I know, I just said that if you want to use Azu as a safe switch, hello, hi. I don't know, thank you though. Um, yeah, man. So, <laughs> fucking Venice Beach. Wait, he goes, do you want to hear today's message? I probably should have said yes, but, ah, oh well. Anyways, Hydro Pump. We shouldn't have thrown the Hydro Pump there. I know that he was gonna shield. He should have just thrown the Play Rough. Um, all right, Rock Slide. Damn it, I feel like I should have heard today's message now. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go. Rock Slides to the day we die. So we did, able to, we were able to get the Galarian Sunfist um, lined up with the Skarmory, right? And then now we got a, a um, what's it called? A Swampert in on it. And we're like, damn, we gotta hurry. Okay, yep, perfect, woo! That's exactly what we were trying to do. 
we, were, we knew it. We, I did not want to throw. I wanted to get my jump up. I knew the switch clock was almost up. Just farm, 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 switch, right? And now we got energy ball with no shield. See you later, Swamper. In comes Skarmory. We're gonna throw the aerial ace. No, we're not. We're not gonna throw anything. See you later, jump up. You've done your job, my friend. Oh, you're still here. All right, let's throw off an aerial ace. Let's do a little chunk. Oh, little chunk it is. What a little chunk. All right, so we go down to Skarmory. Here he comes with the rock slide. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, why am I walking here? <laughs> All right, and then we come in with the earthquake. We got hella extra energy today. All right, so we come in with the earthquake. See you later, Tuesday. Man, that was a good one. Woo, these battles today. You guys are gonna love them, I'm telling you. They only get better. All right, now, we got Umbreon. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh shit, he got his first. All right, so he got his foul play first. He's got higher attack, I guess. So we're gonna farm just a little bit extra. And now we're gonna throw the energy ball. Umbreon's rarely shield, which he does it. Energy ball goes through. And we're gonna get to the next one before he gets to his. I don't know why. I don't know what he's doing. But now we got him in the yellow. And he's gonna try to go to back to back to. I decide I need to shield once here. And now he's gonna go back to back to. Interesting play. And then we get to the aerial ace. Yes, aerial ace, perfect. Which leaves a sliver, I think. Yes, and we can farm down. Perfect. And then in comes um, a toxic croak. So we're able to just go ahead and throw the uh, these aerial aces like a champion, right? Just stripping that last shield. Stripping both shields. We strip both shields back to back to strip shield strip. And then we say, see you later. No, no, no. And we say it's okay. We probably should have, uh, we probably could have survived to another aerial ace, but it's okay. We wanted to save our shield, right? He still has two Pokemon. All right, so now we use our shield because he's got this sludge bomb. And then he switches into Azu. We switch into Home Slice. No more shields on the table. Get to this Earthquake. Let's go, Earthquake. All right. Earthquake doing about 45% damage. In comes the Hydro Pump. Not gonna kill us. Oh, he uses Ice Beam. Why didn't he go for the Hydro Pump? I will never know. Oh boy, he uses the second Ice Beam. We don't get to get to the Earthquake. Here goes the play rough. Oh shit. Two ice beams better than an earthquake confirmed. The Toxicroak gonna get play roughed again. As you liking it when you play rough. And then in comes the other Azu to get whacked down. You like a little bubbles in your coffee. Yo, that, wow, that match was nuts, dude. All right, battle number four, let's go. Jump up into Skarmory again. Let's, come on, man. Let's do the same shit it worked last time. Let's do it again. Azu, oh no, not Meganium. We don't have Ice Beam. Oh, that's why you can't use Azu. <laughs> Without Ice Beam and the safe switch. Just kidding. All right. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw Play Rough. I guess. And then Frenzy Plant, and we're just waiting for Azu to die. Good. Get out of here, Azu. We didn't want you anyways. All right, Jump Fluff. Your time to shine, Jumpy. All right, so we got Aerial Ace. Going to do some real work here, you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, these Great League battles have been so long. I don't know what it is, but they are so long. All right. Switch into Skarm. We got to switch into our... Galarian Stuck Fist. Gal Fist, coming at ya. Hey, my name's Gal Fist, and I'm here to save the day. That's like my 19, 1940s uh, mobster, Gal Fist. He's a real tough cookie, you see? Yeah, my name's Gal Fist, and I'll throw rocks at you, and I'll shake the earth. <laughs> oh, man. 
All right, so we're just gonna do the thing that we do to a skarmory and basically just throw rocks at it till it dies, right? A very, very straightforward match that you do not shield and you just continue to throw rocks. I think you might have to shield if they shield twice. So keep that in mind. So we saved the shield for the frenzy plant here. We're able to switch right into the uh, jump plug. Gonna go straight for the aerial ace here. And he switches into his Galarian Stunfisk and we're gonna go straight for the <laughs> There's a uh, wave. We're gonna go straight for the for the aerial ace. Why did I do that? Man, I was so mad at myself when I did that. The other day I was like, wait, why did I do that? So, cause look at how much damage the energy ball does. How do I come back from that? All right, so then, oh, you know what? It actually works out because um, I would have never been able to get to three energy balls, I think. So we switch out right there with some energy left. Then we go to the the, uh, the rock slide that we already had ready. And uh, we actually save just the right amount of energy. Oh, and then, and then using that rock slide there actually gave, gave me just enough to farm down here. And he switches into his, into his meganium and then so we're able to throw out this aerial ace here Woo, this is such a good play aerial ace and then a farm down oh man what a match Woo, this has been a good good set all right here's the last match of the no 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 that was it <laughs> four one baby see you guys next time like comment subscribe